Welcome to White Hat Junior, first Bharat Tech Champs. I'd love to introduce you to my very dear friend who is joining us today, a youth icon who's won our hearts with her incredible acting and more importantly, a very, very positive attitude, a young and dedicated rising star with immense passion, the very ambitious, the very talented, the very beautiful Ananya Pandey. Ananya, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. And I have to tell you, incredible to have you here, but it's even more incredible to hear from these kids. Because, you know, when I was in school, I had no idea that you could do things like save the world, change the world. How were you when you were in school? I think when I was about their age, um, I was a very obedient student for sure. Like you were? I would, okay. I was a teacher's pet. I would hate getting into trouble. Um, I was very studious. I was one of those kids who would always finish their homework first. Like right when the assignment Ooh. was given, I would already be done. So I was very, very good as a student in that way. But I think I really lacked um, the creativity and I think the drive that these children have to even think up of these, you know, life-changing ideas. So even though I was a good student, um, I don't think I had the determination or the passion or even the skills in that way to develop something like this at that age for sure. <laughs> and I don't even think I'm at that point in my life already. Like I feel like even now I'm still learning and I'm still growing and I hope to make a difference, but I'm nowhere even close to what they've done already. And it's actually an honor for me to be here. I feel like I'm here purely to learn from these kids. And hi guys, I think you guys have done incredible work. I've been reading about you guys and I really can't wait to hear more. Now I want to know a little bit more about your own initiative, this incredible work that you're doing with So Positive. Tell us a little bit more about how you started it, why you started it, why did you feel the need to start it? So, So Positive is basically a digital social responsibility. And I started it at a time where I felt like there was a lot of cyberbullying going on. I felt like there was a lot of trolling going on. There's this thing called as cancel culture. So I felt like there was just a lot of toxic toxicity in the environment on social media, a lot of negativity. And I feel like a lot of people, me included, were going through this thing called cyberbullying, but no one was able to address it or you know put a finger on exactly what was going on. Mm-hmm. So I think I felt the need to just start the conversation on that. So initially it was just about starting the conversation, getting people talking about it. And I think it's gone on to become a community where people feel very safe where they feel understood, where they feel like they have other people who are also going through the same things as them. So there is that sense of relatability. And for me, I felt like So Positive is important as well because I feel like we in life carry this sense of decorum and you know good manners and positivity. But then somewhere on social media and in this digital world, we kind of forget that, which I don't really understand why. And especially in a time like this, which is the pandemic, when most of our work and our social life is going on digitally and on social media, is a time more than ever where people should realize the you know importance of kindness and being positive and you know maintaining that social responsibility that they carry on in real life, even on social media. Because the, it is a digital world. We are living in the digital age, you know? So that's what I think. No, I think great stuff, very, very good, very deep initiative and you've really thought it out well because it is true. Why are we different when we are online? Some of the, you know, some of the, some amazing people are not so amazing when they're online and uh, yes, cancel culture, of course, uh, uh, much worse than even trolls. But you know, we've also learned about this new campaign that you recently launched, launched under this very initiative, which is Social Media for Social Good. Tell us a little bit about this particular campaign. Social media for social good, uh, it basically came up because I realized that my camp, my uh, digital social responsibility is called so positive. So I really wanted to talk about the positive side of social media as well. You know, instead of just focusing on getting rid of trolling or negativity, I felt like there's so many good things that come out of social media. You know, people have so many jobs that they get out of there. It's kept the world connected, especially during the pandemic. And people help other people also through social media. I saw that a lot during the second wave of COVID, especially when people were sharing resources and, you know, helping complete strangers out also. It's such a hard time for everyone. So the idea kind of came from there and I um, 
found some incredible social media heroes and I wanted to speak to them and kind of understand where their initiatives came from when a time which was hard for them also I'm sure they still decided to help other people. So it was a campaign that was focusing on people who are using social media for good. Fantastic. Today we're going to be interacting with some very, very interesting young people who've actually used technology for social good as well. They're the winners of the White Hat Junior Swast Bharat Tech Champ. And you know, Ananya, 10,000 plus started, 50 of them have actually won and they've created apps with an aim to make a very, very healthy world. So are you excited to meet them? I'm so excited. Congratulations to you guys for coming, you know, so far and thinking of such life-changing things at such a young age, especially. So big, big, big clap for you guys. All right. So the first person, you didn't know that you're going to meet him here today. The first person is that we're also joined, joined by K. Akshay Kumar. He's from Telangana. And you know, Akshay did something very interesting. He developed a passion for coding at a very, very young age and wants to keep creating new applications as long as he possibly can, which I think he can do for the rest of his life. And when he grows up, he dreams of developing an app that can ensure women's safety in India. Akshay's app is called Make Me Healthy. For those stuck inside their homes and worried about things like health and fitness, this app provides a very very interesting, deeply thought solution for all things to do with health and hygiene. And one of its key features currently being tested is its inbuilt pedometer, which helps people count their daily number of steps. Besides, it also tracks the water intake and provides very useful recommendations on things like that, things that really matter. So, Akshay, welcome. Hello, everybody. This is Akshay. Uh, I'm from Telangana State. I'm 16 years old and uh... I'm studying in Narayan Education Institutions, uh, preparing for IIT. I love to learn new things and, and in that way I found this, uh, White Hat Junior Swasti Bharat Tech Champs. Okay, fantastic. My question for you is, what was the inspiration behind your Make Me Help app? The inspiration is that making, pe uh, making people follow the informa uh, information which was suggested by me, like it will be a big achievement and if one follows my instructions, it will be a big thing. And uh, first of all, the health is important and then only we can uh, do anything, whatever we wanted to do. So the health is the first priority. That's wonderful, Fantastic. you know, especially yeah. in the pandemic, you seem to realize how important health is and to prioritize your health over everything else. So that's a great idea. Thank you, ma'am. Fantastic. Next up is Karunya Dinesh. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Karunya. Very innovative fifth grader who wants to be a doctor when he grows up, loves to sing and draw, also has become very fond of coding. So incredible, just the array of stuff that you're doing. Now he thought of an innovative solution that has also has something, some very, something very revolutionary about it. He named it School Hygiene. And his app makes students in charge of reporting cleanliness issues at school. So Karuna, very impressive to see a young person like you keen on addressing something which is a pretty adult topic, right? Hygiene issues in school how did you decide to come up with such an idea yes sir when i was in the school sometimes i saw like unclean and unhygienic bathrooms like and classrooms uh, and other areas in the school by seeing that i have got the idea that to create the app called school hygiene which resolves all these problems by showing a track of issues to the admin reported by students wow amazing thinking ananya you are just adorable firstly, I just want to say that. But uh, you know, actually when I was in school, I was the class monitor and I tried to report these things and I wish there was an app like you made at that time so it would make it so much easier, you know, to complain about these things. But what do your teachers feel about this app that you created? Yes, they felt very happy and even my admin felt very happy uh, so that this app, uh, the app will maintain the school environment as hygienic. I also feel very happy and very proud of you. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations. Very proud of you. Next up is Vanshika Sharma. Uh, Vanshika is from Mumbai. Uh, young author who loves to read Roald Dahl, creates stories that give wings to her, as she actually says, wings to her imagination, wings to just let her mind fly. Ten-year-old, lover of all things creative and spends her time improving, improvising on jazz moves and learning French. Are you sure you're 10? 
Our idea for the app was We Clean was born out of the need for a clean city that would promote healthy living among the citizens. We wanted to use coding to develop a community-based solution that would bring together the expertise and resources of its various members. Great concept. How did you think of this? So when I go up with my parents, I see people on the roads. In fact, I've seen people from slum area literally throwing the garbage in the middle of the roads. People do it knowingly or unknowingly. Sometimes it is due to insufficient cleaning staff or absence of required resources that cause litter. This all leads to health issues. That's why I thought of developing an app that will help people to come together to help the community. That's amazing, Anshika. I'm going to sign up right up. <laughs> all right. Next up is Sara, Sara Mittal Salam. Uh, Sara, 13 year old, 8th grade extremely enthusiastic about science, human rights, and classic literature. So, Sara, you sound like you're 50, but amazing you're doing this at this age. Aspires to study biochemistry, astrophysics, along with a minor in literature at Princeton University. So, you've got so much of focus, so big plans for her future. And she believes it's very important for us to normalize and raise awareness and have more conversations around topics that are considered uncomfortable in our society. I completely agree with you, Sara. Great stuff. Now, her app is called Not Really Taboo. The app is a repository of information on various relevant topics such as consent, menstruation, sex education. Hi, Sara. Amazing. So your app, Not Really Taboo, is something we truly need today. How did you think of such an idea? This is really advanced thinking. Well, it generally just it just clicked because... Um, I've really been around uh, in an area where it's been normalized as to how uh, we shame people whenever these topics come up according like related to sex, menstruation or even being queer. So and that really makes me sick when I when I face such a situation. So when I saw that there was an option for me to create an app on something that is related to such things as to health and sanitation. So I immediately entered the idea and I'm really proud of what I did right now and um, so I knew I had to create something that will uh, tackle this issue from its core and that is by education, uh, educating the youth, giving them a safe space to interact and uh, giving them easy access to medical assistance. Wow, amazing. You know, I feel like this is something that I feel so strongly about as well because I truly believe that half the issues that we have are because of, of a lack of education or ignorance in that way. So it's really commendable and you're wise beyond yours and you're really doing a huge favor to society. So I think it's truly commendable. Why did you think it was important to create awareness about these issues? Is there Usually when we try to talk about such topics, we are immediately shushed that no, this is disrespectful to talk about. So mm -hmm. I really feel like if you shush someone on some on such a sensitive and very important topic it can feel uh, make them feel invalidated so i really feel like normalizing talking about all this and letting people know that it's absolutely okay is very important because these are some things that they come to us as we age and they are some things that are part of us every single day and if we keep shushing them it's going to be very hard for us to understand ourselves fantastic you're going to do great things in your life. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Next is Ira Saxena. She's from Bangalore, fourth grader. Loves reading fantasy and mythology apart from playing video games. She has a real flair for languages and speaks three of them already. Kannada, Hindi and English. Wonder what you're going to do. The fourth language she seeks to now master is coding. Ira has created an app called Jenki Joy. I hope I'm actually getting the pronunciation right. We'll find out. The resource base for kids to refer to in order to stay healthy, make timely visits to the doctor, eat well, get appropriate rest. And she wants to explore alternatives to the physical activity that we ensure in normal times. So Ira, absolute inspiration and that's why I'm going to leave the first question to Ananya. Ira, this is an awesome idea. But tell me honestly, do you eat ice creams and pizzas? I do, but not that often. Good. Kananya, she, she's making making us feel like, wow, she does this at this age, plus she doesn't even eat ice cream and pizzas. Uh, you know, we really need to make major changes. Okay, Ira, you know, your thought is really, really beautiful. Why did you think of such an idea? Where did that inspiration come from? In the COVID-19 pandemic, kids have been locked at their homes. And at home, the junk food increased and so did the weight. Now, he being healthy can be really boring. 
Now I want to be solve this problem in a fun and gamified <laughs> way by creating an app called Genki Joy. The full translation of the name of the app is Healthy Joy. Now in the Genki Joy has four main sections: healthy eating, doctor's checkup, good rest and exercise. My app explains why it is very important and how to make it a little more fun. Amazing, absolutely amazing. But I have to ask you: Everybody in your family, are they happy with what you're doing, or are they like because of you, even we can't eat? When my father broke the news that I had won the Swiss Bharat competition, everyone was very surprised and happy. My mother at first asked us to double check whether I had actually won. <laughs> uh, but when she found out I actually had, she said she was quite happy and very proud to be my mother. Okay, and the fifty thousand rupees. Uh, are you going to buy at least some pizza and some ice cream with that? For my brother and me. For yeah, see, thank God. At least I feel like that there is some hope for me also. So congratulations, everybody. This is absolutely fantastic. You know, really proves the point. Children are the best change makers in influencing positive behavior when it comes to health habits, hygiene habits, care for the environment, living responsibly, sustainable lives. As a young film star, but also as an influencer, what kind of role do you think you could play in this regard, Ananya? So when I was, I think, fourteen or fifteen. That's when I even found out what coding was. Till before then, I had no idea because we didn't learn these things in school. And you know, I feel like the times are changing so fast. Young kids out there, listen to me and try to you know um, copy some of my cop qualities or some things that I do. So I really want to put the best side of me out there. I want to use my voice for good, and I want to be a good role model in that way. I want to. Emphasize on being real and not setting unrealistic expectations in that way. And I have some strong beliefs about some things, and I'm very inspired by these kids today. And I, I'm going to try to make a change as well. No, no, no. I think you are absolutely and totally being a very, very good role model. A lot of inspiring things you are actually doing. I hope your organization, your initiative, so positive, goes on to become so, so, so positive. So, congratulations on everything you are doing, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a, a complete eye opener for me. And before leaving, I just want to congratulate all of you guys, Akshay, Ira, Kanishka, Karanya, Sara. I'm just blown away by the things you guys are creating, and I'm not even one percent unsure that you guys are going to do even bigger and better things in the future. So all the best for the future, and lots and lots of love. And All right. Thank you so much, Ananya. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope to catch up with you very, very soon. And to Thanks. all five of you, brilliant stuff. Thanks. Bye. You. See you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye.